Hi guys! Welcome to another Rocket Cake tutorial. In this one you will learn how to make a fixed container. A fixed container can be used as a navigation bar and that's what we will see today. Let's bring a container here. Let's give it a background color. Let's add some buttons. All right, let's add another container. And another inside. Let's add some text. Let's preview it. So as we scroll the page, this top bar goes up. We want to make it fixed so that it stays there. So here comes the trick. Right click on it, HTML code, additional CSS styles and we write a simple line of code here which is the following. Position fixed semicolon Z index colon and let's say 100 semicolon. We put a space at the beginning and the end of the line. OK. Let's check it in the preview. Yes, 
it stays there. Good. Now, position fixed, we understand that, but what is this Z index? Now think about x, y, and z as the three coordinates of a 3D coordinate system. x is the horizontal coordinate of an item on our page and y is the vertical. Let's see it in practice. Let's have a floating text box. So this is the x coordinate. Okay, let it be 300 and the, and the y coordinate also. Well, let's say 300. So if you make the x coordinate bigger, let it be 500, it goes to the right. If you make the y coordinate bigger, 400, it goes down. So that's how the x and the y coordinates or indexes work. But what about the z coordinate? That's the third coordinate which points out of the monitor that you are watching towards you. So if the Z coordinate or, or the Z index is larger, then the item is nearer to you. If it's smaller, then it takes it away from you towards the monitor or even quote-unquote behind it. Let's see it in practice. So we have a floating text box here. Let it be white. Okay, I call this number one. Let's bring another one in here. Let this be number two. Let's make it blue. Now if I put them on top of each other, the blue one goes on top because I've put it on the page later. Let's preview it. Yeah, the blue is on the, on the top. Okay. Now, how can I put the yellow one on top? And this is where the Z index comes in. By default, the Z index is zero. So, if I say Z, Z index should be, let's say five. Let's see what happens. The yellow is on top. If I say that the Z index of the blue one should be 10. Now the blue one is on top. It also works with negative numbers. 
here is the blue one let's say the z index should be minus 10 then the yellow one must be on top because it has a positive z index preview yes the yellow is on top here is the z index let's say in minus 50 is its index then the yellow must go to the bottom yes so this is how the z index works and that's why we use this z index in this line of code now if we preview this page we can see something it is that this second container the top of it goes under this fixed container here we are and preview you know the difference is less so because this container is fixed it covers the top of the other container so we have to add some extra space to the second container now I want to show you one more thing this fixed container works well on desktop monitors but if you watch it on a small cell phone or mobile phone it may get too big and it may cover too much of the screen so here is my suggestion let's copy this top bar and let's paste it and let's do the following here's our, here is our top bar let's use breakpoints let's add the breakpoint 640 and when the view is smaller than 640 pixels let's make this bar invisible okay so what happens we make the viewport smaller and when we reach 640 the top bar disappears it becomes invisible now here is the second navigation bar let's right click on it let's delete this code So this one, this second bar is not fixed. Let's give it breakpoints. When the view is smaller than 640, this is visible. Okay. Now let's add another breakpoint. 8000 that's the maximum with the truck and cake handles okay so when the view is smaller than 8000 let's make it invisible so the fixed navigation bar is visible when it's larger than 640 pixels when, when it's wider than uh, 640 pixels and the other the second navigation bar is visible when the viewport is 
narrower than 640 pixels. So what happens in, is we cannot see anything here, but what happens is that when we watch the web page on a small screen, then the navigation bar rolls up. It's not fixed, but when we watch it on a wide screen, then the navigation bar that we see is fixed. Let's see, preview. Okay, that's wide, so it stays there. But let's make it smaller and it rolls up with the rest of the page. So that's it. I hope I could help you with this tutorial. We were using a simple line of code and breakpoints. And the line of code was position fixed and you see index and a positive number. Okay, I will save this file and fixed position RCD and you can download it if you click on the link in the description under the YouTube video. Also, you can download the file from the Rocket Cake Tutorials website. RocketCakeTutorials.com I hope you liked this video. If so, I'm happy. Have a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.